Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stinkpot Shack Show. Had a bit of emergency here in old Casa de Stinkpot, uh, but we got it handled and we're... <sighs> it's definitely a weight off my shoulders. The way Peaches was screaming and carrying on, you probably heard it in our last hour stream, but uh, I thought the whole house was going to crumble beneath me. But we uh, took care of the uh, water issue, and now we're back for uh, Clash of Clans. And we're going to be talking about the uh, February balance change update. That's going to be going live in a couple of days. So uh, there's going to be some good changes and a couple of uh, changes that have been uh, we've been waiting for a really long time. So all that is coming right up. Here on your Stink Posh Jack Show. Alright guys, welcome back to the Shack Show here on your Thursday night, part of our uh, Supercell Super Stream. Uh, we normally do three streams, but uh, tonight we uh, had a Clash Royale tournament. So uh, that's going to skip Brawl Stars on to next week where we will be back with our Clash Royale regular show followed by Brawl Stars, or followed by Clash of Clans and then Brawl Stars for our triple stream next Thursday. So, uh, oh crap, I just realized the camera, uh, my chair must have moved a little bit. Let's move on over here. Here we go, move everything on over. So, how are you guys doing here tonight? We are talking about Clash of Clans Balance Update. <laughs> so, AJ, thanks for being here. Good to have you aboard. Um... I probably should, there's something, yeah, 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 okay. I, I think it'll be alright, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. If somebody does the unthinkable, then I'll, then I'll put an end to it. So, that's an inside joke, for me, not for you. Alright guys, so, let's start talking about the balance updates. The, the updates. There was a few uh, buffs, a few nerfs. And a few uh, quality of life improvements. So let's take a look at the first one. It's going to be a nerf. It is the cannon nerf. So levels 10 through 16 are being nerfed. Level 10 just barely being nerfed. But it is a nerf indeed. Um, level 11 going from 80 to 74. 95 to 87. And so on so on. Capping out at 140 going all the way down to 125 now the cannon doesn't really uh bother me so much because as a th12 i mo mainly get hit with those air attacks so uh the cannon's really only going to uh affect the uh the heroes and piddly ground troops but as for th12 it's not going to impact me a whole much. Probably TH uh, 8, 9, 10. Probably not 8. That's too low for level 10. But probably 9, 9 and 10 definitely are going to feel it. So let's see. My cannons are at, uh, let's see. I got this cannon at level 13. Is that my lowest cannon? Uh, let's see here. Lowest cannon. Yeah, it looks like, oh, no, here's one. I got a level 9 there. But that's one of my puny cannons. So, like I said, the uh, level 10 through level 16 has been nerfed. Ha well, uh, has not been. I mean, it's going to go live in a couple days. So the next uh, balance update, you will see this cannon nerf. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Not really, but yeah. Let's move on to the next update, shall we? It is the Archer Tower nerf. Same levels. 
level 10 through level 16. Now this one I am worried about as an Electro Dragon because if they're limit or nerfing the damage of Archer Towers, you're going to see air attacks pick up because, uh, you know, they'll be, you know, especially the, against the Lava Hounds, the E-Dragons, the Dragons, even Balloons. Um, if their Archer Towers are probably your last line of defense because there's so many of them and it takes your air army uh, time to get around to all of them. So with that note, um, your Archer Tower nerf might hurt you on, on uh, defense. So I, I can't believe in this balance update they are not nerfing the Electro Dragon. It is so overpowered right now. Maybe not overpowered, but it's definitely a no-brainer attack. Do I have one queued up? Let's see. Uh, 280. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can. I, I have everybody ready to go except for my uh, Warden. But we can go ahead and do a Town Hall 12 attack right now just to show you before this update goes live how powerful these E-Dragons are. And uh, I expect Town Hall 12s um, to get more three-starred because of this nerf. So uh, I'm trying to find one with decent loot. But while we do that, while I find one, let's talk, continue on and talk about... Now uh, we're getting a buff, Barbarian buff. This is your level 7 and level 8 buff for uh, your health. It's only a health buff, by health, health, health buff, by the way. It's only going to affect the Barbarian's health. So uh, level 7 and 8 are the only affected levels going from 125 to 145 and 140 all the way up to a whopping 205 health. So, your little Barcher attacks out there. It might be worth breaking that out again if you're a uh, Town Hall 8, 9-ish to uh, get that going. See how it's, see how much of an impact those level 8s have. Actually, I don't think you can, can get level 8s that low. But anywho, you guys get my, the point I'm making. They're trying to make Barbarians more viable. Why? I have no idea. Maybe they're uh, getting a lot of complaints that uh, army costs are too high. So they're trying to bring... The action back to the barbarians because they're one of the cheaper troops. I don't know. I mean, with the multi mortar out there, how how are barbarians gonna get anywhere? No clue. No clue indeed. So let's talk about our next one. Um, it's going to be the uh, goblin buff. So wow. Before we get into the goblin buff, though, this is the electro dragon attack I was talking about. So uh, let's see. Got to make sure my. Uh, Air sweepers, okay, they're pointed there. Uh, yeah, you. Where's my archer queen? She around? Wow, no. He, there's no heroes. On, they're all being upgraded. Wow, even better. All right, so let's send in our e dragons then and see what happens. Get our uh, siege weapon going, and we're just using those e dragons on the outside to a uh, funnel. So the heroes will go straight in to battle now. Now we can put the remainder out. And uh, here we go. So here comes the E-Dragons up the channel. We've got giants to worry about. Not too worried about them with E-Dragons. Let's got to take out that air ar e eagle artillery. Do some freezing action. There goes that. Look at this, guys. Look how easy this is. So easy to take out all of... Uh, and granted, I'm TH12, and I attacked a TH11, but in actuality, the way things are right now, the only TH12s I have trouble with are uh, maxed out Town Hall 12s. Um, once I get my heroes 10 more levels up, it might change, but... As of right now, those are the only ones that I'm pretty much not able to three-star. Now, every once in a while, I'll mess up, and I've even not three-starred against the Town Hall 10 and, and some Town Hall 11s. But for the most part, I'm pretty automatic with a three-star at uh, using these E-Dragon attacks. So let's get back to our uh, Goblin update. The Goblin buffs level 4 through 7 have been buffed, and... Uh, 
by looking at it looks like only level six and seven are gonna have a major impact on that health so I, I, I one time I tried a mass goblin army against a town hall 11 and I was surprised how well it did so it might be time guys to break out uh, the goblin the mass goblins once again and see there it is three star with the e dragon so um, keep that in mind as we go forward here there's my bo star bonus ooh I'm just about ready to have oh yeah three more hours and I can update so uh, I have five million gold so I need to get to eight million to do my next Tesla and this bad boy Tesla right here is on his way to max level Tesla he's about to be a uh, Tesla level 10 in nine days started at 14 but let's talk about our next update it is going to be the motor buff now that's the multi mortar from the picture anyway is from builder but so don't get confused by that we're talking all home village stuff here tonight guys so the mortar is getting buffed for levels 5 through 11 I actually like this one because you know once you get to like town hall 10 11 and 12 People really uh, take the mortar for granted because it's not that menacing. However, the multi-mortar um, in Home Village, that is menacing to your ground troops. So, uh, it will be nice because if you look at my base, I have been for a while now working toward getting that multi-mortar. I got this guy up to level 7. I just have to get him up to level 8. And then I will be able to gear up my uh, mortar into the multi-mortar. So this is the building we're talking about that is receiving a buff in a couple of days in the next update. So uh, let's see, what do I have? What level is mine? Uh, mine is level 8. So um, it will be a buff from 14 to 20 damage. So uh, really good to see that mortar buff coming. And uh, wow. Wow. I think it's going to bring a whole new dynamic. You're going to see a lot of army compositions change. Now, another thing to keep in mind of my Town Hall 10. Let's switch to that real quick. Town Hall 10. And we're almost there. All right, Town Hall 10 loading up. So, we've talked about the, uh, the cannon getting nerfed. We've talked about the archer tower getting nerfed. And uh, we're talking about the mortar getting a buff. So, that also seems like it might be a good time to once again use the, uh, the mass miner. I've been using mass miner. It's my current Town Hall 10 favorite attack to use. Now keep in mind, guys, if you do use Mass Miner as a Town Hall 10, um, where am I looking at? You really need to have it maxed out. So I got mine maxed out at level 3. So uh, level 1 miners are just pure crap. So at a minimum, have your miners at level 2 if you want to do some uh, Mass Miner attacks. And so the only thing that uh, is getting uh, a buff for this is going to be the mortar but uh yeah i think that's what we're talking about yeah the mortar so but with the miners guys they're underground more than they're above ground so hopefully the mortar doesn't impact them a whole lot let's talk about our next one the expo buff so expos are going from level six it's currently what i have maxed out crossbows going from 120 to 155 this is a very good update because I bet you're gonna see it's gonna be I'm gonna try it and see how it goes with my air uh, crossbows because I have all my cross I think two crossbows down and two crossbows up so when this update hits I'm gonna send all my crossbows up and see if it can't uh, help fend off those e dragons it will be interesting to see how because that's quite a bit of buff for uh, level 6 35 damage uh, increase level one not so much level two not so much level three not so much it's your level fives and sixes is really what's going to uh, benefit from this buff the most so make sure you guys are doing that um, yeah I think it's gonna be great so 
We're going to do a mass minor attack uh, right now, actually, to show you guys the power of the uh, mass minor. I typically, as Town Hall 10, can find undefended bases, so uh, we'll gear for that. I think I have everything. Let's check it. But while we're waiting to find a good army to use, we'll go back and keep talking about our balance updates. Yes, I do have everything there. So let's talk about the next one, which is going to be the Eagle Artillery. Now, the Eagle Artillery, um, it's not really getting a buff. It's not really getting a nerf. It's getting a fix. So previously, there was a bug that made the artillery harder to hit from normal distances. We're talking about typically ranged units. It was harder to hit the, ar the artillery. So they fixed the bug that's going to allow that to work as intended. So I never personally, maybe I just didn't know it was a bug, but I, I, don't, I don't know about this one. I don't really know how it's going to impact... Uh, the raids or wars yet so we'll have to stay tuned on that one if anybody has any insight out there let me know hey brandon glad you could join the show we're talking about the february balance updates that are coming to uh kalasha clans in the next couple days so they're fixing that eagle artillery uh bug now the last thing we oops oh my gosh look at that guys 1 million 45 loot well, if I can get this, no, it won't be a clan record because Bowser's already set the clan record at 1.1 million. But let's see if we can't get another cool mill. Um, are the, the Inferno Towers are down. All right, Stink Pot, play this safe here. Let's see, where's the, there's the Archer Queen there. All right, so let's just go in here, gangster style, and, and see what happens. Here we go. Got my wizards out here to kind of help with the supplemental troops on the edge. And uh, once we get some more of those gone, then we can send in our miners. Wanting to make sure nothing comes out of the, uh, the clan castle. Doesn't look like anything's coming, so let's uh, go ahead and send in our miners now. Wow, something came out. The queen went down really quick. Oh, it's a golem. That's what it is. Golem is out. Hopefully, uh, I killed. Yeah, it looks like the the golems are going down now. I, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to see how that's going to affect the rest of our battle here. Oh wait, no, the golem is mine. All right, so <laughs> make me feel better. Let's go ahead and put a heal, one last heal down to keep those suckers alive. And I think we're going to have a good shot at getting all this loot here, guys. One million. 45,000 loot at hand. Can we get it? Can the miners hold out? Looks like they're going real strong. I think this is going to be a no problem. I'm going to save this queen here from letting the cannon terrorize her. And let's put uh, some archers up there. And now that cannon's gone. Only two defenses remaining. The miners are still going to town. One defense remaining. So yeah, this is going to be an easy cleanup. This is my second highest raid of all time. This is my highest raid while live. So I'm glad you guys could uh, enjoy this with me. Very nice job. 1,045,000 elixir is in the bag. And there is our three star. Look at that loot, guys. Look at that loot. Can you look at this loot right here? Even had 5,000 dark. And with the bonus, I, I even get more loot. Just crazy, crazy raids. And this is what I think Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and even Town Hall 11 are your best chances at getting these kinds of uh, ra raid loot. Incredible amount. My second highest of all time. So, wow. Wish there would have been more uh, gold, but hey, I'll take it any way you can shake it. So there it is, guys. Whew, one million loot has just been raided, and I get a cool half a mil on top of that from the star bonus. Did that fill my, my, my castle? Let's see. N nope, I had just emptied it. So, and I got no shield, no guard. So let's go ahead and activate this for just two hours while I finish up here because I want to save that loot there. The two hour guard for 10 gems is a good way when you're in a pinch and if you're driving down the road or you got to go to the store and come back, that 10 gems 
is invaluable to give you a two hour protection. So the last thing we're going to talk about here tonight, guys, is going to be the last update, the last major update that they're making to the game. And this is going to concern uh, Clan Wars. So let's take a look at that. Oh, Eagle Artillery. I forgot to change that. Sorry. Ignore that Eagle Artillery part. This is for Clan War Leagues. They're changing the way um, you can get promoted and demoted. So this is only for War Leagues. Only War Leagues only. Um, demotion promotion changes. So it's based upon what league you're currently in. Late for Supper is currently in uh, Crystal 3. So... Uh, Crystal 1 to mass. So we're going to fall into the... Uh, where is it at? Champ. Crystal. Crystal 1. Crystal two. Yeah, so we're going to fall in. So two clans will get promoted versus one. So a lot... It's basically giving uh, clans more competition at the higher leagues is what's happening here. So two clans uh, versus one will get promoted... And then on the demotion side, look at that. From champion one to champion two, three clans get demoted. So that's what I was talking about where there's awesome competition at the tippy top. And if you want to stay in that champion league, your clan is really going to have to pull out the stops. Because if you're in the uh, bottom three now, instead of the bottom two, you are getting demoted back to the, uh, the master league. So... Keep that in mind. These are all the uh, the War League uh, levels that are changing. Most of them are promotions instead of demotions. So I guess we'll have to see how this really affects Late for Supper. Because we've been hanging around in the Crystal League since uh, War Leagues have come out. So uh, yeah, that's what we're taking a look at there. And uh, a couple other things to take notice of. This is one of the things I've been waiting for a really long time. If you're in the game, you tap on the uh, page icon and you go to news. Look at these February balancing changes that Supercell has announced. Um, they talking about the cannon levels that we just went over. The Archer Tower levels we just went over. Mortars Expo. Barbarian Goblin. Everything we just went over. There's the War Leagues. Um, the day take away. Oh yeah, here it is. Upcoming quality of life changes. This is what I was wanting to talk about. So the Clash team is hard at work on the next update. More detail details regarding what's new will be coming in the near future. But let's talk about these. So traps and defenses, expos, inferno towers, and eagle artillery will automatically reload for free. What is that talking about? It's talking about when you come in here and you've been attacked, you normally have to hit this reload icon and you spend loot in order to do that. So now what they're saying is once uh, it will no longer be uh, or cost you loot anymore, it'll be free in order to... Um, reload these but the catch is you have to log in it's not going to do it automatically when you're away from the game but as soon as you log in get that supercell logo and it loads up your village that's when it's going to automatically reload them once you've been attacked so that's a welcome change from that the only thing i wish they would uh change on that is uh i don't know if there's going to be like a notification i mean it probably doesn't need to be a notification i guess but hey, anyway, it's free, so we'll take that. Let's go back to the rest of them that we're talking about here. Uh, magic items. After the next update, you'll find the magic item inventory button is in the town hall instead of the clan castle. So right now, um, what that's talking about is here on the clan castle. This uh, menu system is so busy with all these buttons. You got info, upgrade, request, clan, treasury, guard, and magic items. So they're going to take it away from this spot. This magic item button is going to move over to the town hall, which has less um, less busy buttons. So you're going to see magic item button pop up over here. So if you guys log into the game, you're like, huh, I lost all my magic items. Where did they go? I have no idea. Don't, don't freak out. Don't freak out. They just moved over to the town hall menu system. So good stuff there. And... Uh, this is the one that I wish they would. It's definitely needed, but they definitely need to make it a little better. So someone accidentally donated the wrong troops 
during your preparation day in wars. Well, now leaders and co-leaders will be able to delete those donated troops. And what we're talking about here is here on preparation day. Like if Parth did not want an Electro, or if he, he asked for Electro Dragon, if he would have got, you know, barbarians and archers, <coughs> then the problem with that is, you know, it's hard enough getting people to show up for attacks, but it's even harder to get them to re-request before the preparation time runs out. So it's, you know, unless you're like a super active clan, this is a difficult task. But with this new update, uh, co-leaders and leaders will be able to uh, delete those troops and uh, take care of business for you. Now, um, the kicker for that is, let's go back to that. The reason why I think they need to improve it just a little bit more is, um, where does it say it at? Some other clan members, war castles, is because this happens, um, you can only do this in war, but it happens way more frequently in just general raids, just general donation requests. People will donate the wrong troops, and usually people get mad, and we have to kick people because they ha have a habitual habit. That's redundant, habitual habit. But they make a, a habit of doing it over and over. And some people don't care if they give the wrong trips. Blah, 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 on and on. So I wish they would uh, make that available to these requests as well in the clan chat where you're just uh, requesting regular troops. I wish uh, co-leaders and whatnot would at least get a notification when, I don't know, when something's donated incorrectly. Some way of tracking who donated incorrect troops would be helpful in addition to the ability to clear them from the uh the castles i wish that could happen for regular war regular uh, clan castles too so back to the quality of life changes um builder suggestions made it quite uh even better in the builder menu we've made it oh so that what that is talking about guys is over here when you click this little blue exclamation point on the master builder guy, he's going to suggest what to upgrade. Well, usually it's not the best suggestion. So they're going to make this a little smarter AI. So when you click this button, it'll actually have something that you might actually want to upgrade. So that it rolls up your balance updates for February. Your uh, uh, quality of life improvements for February. Lots of stuff. I really enjoy playing this game since 2013. We're on the six, we're about to go to seven years playing this game. Six, seven years, however long it's been. And uh, it's really been, yeah, seven years anniversary this year, but I've only been playing for six years. That's what I'm confused about. So, Clash of Clans, guys, come on in late for supper. We are looking for super active people to uh, war with. We got uh, War Leagues coming up. In uh, how long? Nine days? Seven days? Where is it at? Uh, where is it at? Clan Rewards is coming in one day, but Clan War Leagues is coming in seven days. So we really need, we have a lot of TH9, 8s and 9s, and we really need more TH10s and 11s to fill out our War League roster. Please consider Late for Supper. And if you want to uh, join us, just come on over here. Type in late for supper. There we are. We're a level 11 clan. So uh, I am the leader. There I am. Stink pot right there. I kind of fell out of Titan League, but no big deal. I can get back to Titan. I just do not like that fog of war. I, they said they were going to fix it last year, and it still isn't fixed once you get into the really high leagues of uh, Titan and Legendary. So... Thanks for staying here. Brandon and AJ, good to have you guys here. Man, AJ, you are just the champion in all our streams. I appreciate you watching, buddy. I appreciate all the support anybody can give me. And we've uh, hit that subscribe button, though, to help us out because we are at 466 subscribers, trying to get to 500 by April 1st. So that's a month and some change. So uh, if you like what you saw here tonight, Please let me know. Hit that bell notification. Hit that subscribe button. Join us on Instagram. Join us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord. Anywhere social media lives, you can find the Stink Pot Shack Show. I am Stink Pot, and we will see you Sunday for uh, Fortnite. 
as we get into another match and see how it goes. We're going to try and finish up our Tier 100. Uh, we got a couple days left in the season, so this weekend I hope to get a good push on Tier 100. 500 subs equals Jello Wrestling. <laughs> well, I'll just have to pull Peaches into that one, huh? Peaches, AJ, and Wifey, and Stink Pot. And uh, girlfriendy sounds like a good Jello wrestling match right here on your Stink Pot Shack show. See you guys Sunday.